Hey, good morning everybody. I'm Rigo and today we're gonna be talking about Oh my goodness. That is not how I make videos. Let's start this thing all over again. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening everybody. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. This is Rigo, also known in the community as Rigo007. So what are we doing today? Nothing really planned, but I wanna give you guys an update on all the fakes that I'm growing. We're just gonna talk about fakes today. I'm gonna show you all the fakes that I'm growing in containers, all the fakes that I'm growing, you know, in the ground. I know that's gonna be a very tough topic for some of you guys about growing fakes in ground in Florida, where all the nematodes are at, and we got all the bugs and all kinds of bugs that are eating up on everything. But that's what this video is all about today. So we're gonna start off first with the backyard. I've, I've kind of ahead of myself, you know, there's a little progress. Um, I got a lot of the fake varieties into five gallon containers. I still got a couple more to go, but I want to show you guys what I've done and where I'm at. So as you can see in this palette, you can see exactly how I'm trying to grow all the figs, five gallon containers and they're growing pretty straight these right here that you see in between these are all new varieties this is the lsu champagne it's got a couple of figlets really small lebanese black purple red lebanese bv this one's got a couple of figs on it this is one of the golden rainbows and the figs are humongous on this one some of them are starting to droop a little bit and yes these are bugs ah! This is that bug that I have over here, that Sri Lanka beetle, weevil or something. That one's eating all my, it well, actually they were. And I actually um, had to use a pesticide that I put into the bucket over here um, in liquid form. And it basically killed all these bugs, uh, pretty much. I mean, this is all new growth, as you can see. And they're no longer getting chewed up like they were. Back here is the Siblawi. Siblawi's got some nice figs on it as well. Let's move on to this one. This right here is I-258. And that one's got a bunch of figs on it. This is a uh, Figo Preto. Figo Preto's got a couple of them right here, but they're not so big. So this is the other Figo Preto. And I haven't put this one in five gallons because I really don't want to have two of the same varieties. You know, I'm just holding on to it in this little, almost three gallon container. But as you can see, the figs are getting nice and, and big and there's just like so many of them I don't know if they're gonna ripen though either way there's a bunch of them and I'm happy about that this is an extra I-258 as well don't want to put in five gallons also these right here are some of the figs I'm gonna be putting in the ground these are just regular varieties you know um, Texas Everbearing, a Laterula, Brown Turkey, Peter's Honey and improve Celeste. So now, I know what you guys say about putting figs in ground, but I mean, so far it's working out over here in Florida. I'm gonna show you that. disease that I could tell of the bugs ain't eating them all right but let's go back let's go back over here to the pallets so this is my other pilot. You guys just saw that one over there. Uh, over here I got the CDD Rimara, the Black Pearl, Conadria, Alessio Holier over there. This Black Pearl over here. It's got a couple of figs on it. This one right here is looking kind of weird, kind of funky. And many of these trees you're gonna notice also that I already pinched. And the reason why I pinched them is because they're growing so big. So the tree doesn't keep on growing too high, too tall. So when I get ready to move, I just transplant them straight to the ground. All these are eventually going to the ground. I am not gonna have these in buckets. So you guys might not like what I'm gonna say, but it's what I believe, you know? Before I even pinched these trees, there was fruits already growing on them, okay? They were starting to throw branches. They were starting to throw some fruits some figlets and all that. I didn't do pinching because I wanted more fruit and whatnot. I don't believe pinching actually helps or 
promotes faster growth yes it might send some energy to the figlets and maybe even some branching and things like that but i mean here in florida we got a long growing season and everything so everything seems to be doing fine without having to pinch i only pinch because i want the trees to be a little bit smaller so let's get back over here i really hesitated on putting this one in a five gallon panache tiger because every time it gets a figlet like this one right here it's more than likely gonna drop it so if you guys know why the panache tiger or the panache or panache or whatever you call it why it drops all the figs all the time as i don't know i guess the baby figs the figlets it keeps on dropping them for me if this plant doesn't produce any figs or anything edible it's out of here i don't have time to be wasting on figs that just ain't gonna work out you know what i'm saying so there's a chicago hardy right there i know i know well guess what i'm growing one this Nero 600 is doing pretty good. It's got a bunch of figlets everywhere. We don't know how good it's gonna do. The heart of Chicago is infested with figlets. Wait until I show you the one that's in ground on the front. You guys are gonna be like, the tree is not gonna grow. Or it's, my God, the nematodes are gonna eat it up. <clears throat> this is my third pilot right here. I have the um, infamous Violet de Bordeaux. Ah, I got an Alma. White Marcells, and the White Marcells is going crazy. You got the Alma right there throwing figs everywhere. This White Marcel is got humongous figs on him. He's got two little branches. I didn't want to cut this one yet simply because he has those two branches. But my intention was to turn it into a one trunk tree. And then we got this pink unknown that was gifted to me. And I said I wasn't going to put any unknowns in five gallon pails, but I did. But it's got some nice figs on them too. Look at the size of them babies. And there's more coming out. And you got the Cadora. Over here, we have a Peter's Honey. I gotta taste this variety. This variety I heard is so good. I want my kids and my wife to try them out as well. And this is basically my last palette. This last palette right here is all the ones that I have to still put in five gallons these are all the extras you guys already know about the extras right all right so those are the things i have on the back right now so i'm gonna take you guys now to the front so i can show you the trees that i'm growing i forgot before we go over there let me show you something all right guys so normally when i start my cuttings i start them inside this enclosed porch back here in the back of the house as you could see it's just a you know tiny little area and i use this little cheap greenhouse that you see in the background i use this and i usually put my cuttings in cups and then i wanted to try something different i said you know the day i was trimming my my figs to put them in five gallons you know i had to cut off some of the branches but i was like damn you know there's a lot of cuttings that i'm just throwing away which i threw away a lot of them you know so what i did was i tried doing the um direct planting or something like that i think you guys call it so you see this right here these right here are cuttings that I took off the um, the ones that are now in five gallons. And I'm just, I just stuck the cutting straight in. I didn't do anything special, no rooting hormone. I didn't put any parafilm on any of them. And as you could see, every single one of them is budding. Look at that. And I didn't do nothing special to them. Look how green these are. And they're all budding. <laughs> going to the front and this is what the front looks like this is my beautiful garage right there this is a violet de bordeaux this was my first gifted actual plant from dr Dr. draconian sorry if i'm butchering your name buddy uh from richard and i put it in this pot which was basically a mistake i shouldn't be putting anything in ceramic pots but it's doing okay i mean it's got figs on them i threw a couple more cuttings right here and they're already doing pretty good and to be honest i don't know why i keep on putting cuttings into these containers because i already have these varieties man i don't know i guess i'm just crazy like that i just can't 
see myself throwing away these cuttings and you know they're green and stuff so I don't want to give them out to you guys in the community because a lot of people have difficulties rooting green cuttings at least that's what I've read that's what I've heard now I'm gonna show you some that are in ground over here on the front this right here is a hardy Chicago or Chicago hardy and this thing is massive this hardy Chicago right here I bought and it was really really small so Wayne has really good quality cuttings and really good quality plants so if you guys want to go and check out Wayne he also goes as Wayne on rfix.com he sells really good stuff I like his products I like his plants I think they're really good quality and he's really awesome I made some good deals with Wayne and he really did help me out it's massive guys this is in the ground this thing I'm talking about, look, I'm holding on to this thick right here, this branch. And this thing is just, it's nice. It's um, probably an inch in diameter. It's got figs everywhere. I don't know if you guys can see all the figs. It's um, getting some new figlets everywhere. You can actually see all the figlets coming out. There's figlets everywhere. And just to show you how big it is, in ground, in South Florida, I'm going to show you this little tree right here. This right here is a Celeste. When I first grabbed this tree, it came to about probably here. And this is just in about a month or so. It's this big. I'm letting this one stay, you know, come out here because um, I really don't mind if it grows almost as a bush because I'm going to sell this house like I said before. But it is healthy. It is nice. It is growing really fast. It doesn't have any figs just yet. But I'm sure it's gonna have some soon. I'm gonna show you now a couple I have in containers besides the uh, VDB you just saw there. You guys should know which one this is. This is the brown turkey. This is the first one that I bought at that um, flea market. And it's doing pretty good. It's not growing as fast anymore for some reason. Now the last one is this black mission right here. This black mission is another one I got from Wayne. All right, this black mission was also really small. It was probably like up to here and now look at this thing this thing is going crazy and it's beautiful too it's super healthy it's super large i've been having to cut off a lot of its branches and i'm leaving three on the bottom and a main one growing up and then eventually i'm gonna cut it up i'm gonna pinch it on top when it's tall enough and see if i get a couple more branches on top and leave it as is i don't see any figs on it really i see that it keeps on wanting to branch out so i'm just gonna leave it at that you think your dad is crazy growing all these trees everywhere all over the place no why not because you always have a reason for doing stuff i do have a reason all the time all right so let me ask you another question what about the figs though yeah. what do you think about figs that i'm growing like so many of the same type of fruit basically i mean it's kind of a good idea because what if two of them die you still have an extra one but we haven't tasted any figs yet. But what if we like it? If we like it, then we have extra if they don't die. And we can just shove our mouth. Okay, so that's a, that's a good thing right there. So now I have another question coming from that. What if we don't like figs? Then we could sell them. Yeah, you could sell them on your fig forum. We can't sell them. It's not my fig forum, but we can't sell them on the fig forum anyways because they're in five gallon buckets. These are too large. I can't ship them out. And people here in Florida are cheap. They don't buy figs. They don't come. They, they want to offer like $2 for each one of these things. We spend a lot more in just each container. If we don't like them, then we're stuck. I mean, Guys, so if we don't like figs, since you guys know that we haven't tasted any figs, this is Rigo so Jr. by the way. It is bright, man. It is hot too. Ah. You just came out. I've been out here for a while. If we don't like right. figs, guys, I guess somebody's going to be happy because they're going to be getting a whole bunch of fig trees because I'm not going to know what to do with them. And if I don't like figs and my family doesn't like figs, you won't see me around. All right, guys, now for the final words. Experiment with things. Don't give up. Just keep on doing what you're doing. Start off with cheap cuttings. You know, if you're one that wants to have, like those people out there that want to have the most expensive of expensive collections and this and that, which don't. Start off with cheap cuttings. Don't Which, give up because as you go, you learn. Use trial and error. Mistakes help you learn from them and then you get to make better choices. Don't forget to visit figdatabase.com and if you got pictures of figs, pictures of your trees, the leaves to compare and everything to help out the community and the rest of us out here, you know, go in there, contribute, help everybody out. And like we always say over here in the New Bee Garden channel, we, we love, love you and, and we'll, we'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,
I got the biggest beach, oh I got God, the biggest beach.